Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to episode 2 of Sleeping Giants, IFK Gothenburg. So, in the first episode we gave a brief sort of introduction to the series, a little bit of the history of the club and now I've actually played a few matches in pre-season, I've made a few transfers as you can see on the screen. In this episode I'm going to go through just a little briefly on the kind of uh, pre-season results and go through the transfers and then I'm going to actually start off the season with our first game. So first of all, we're going to look at the outgoing transfer. So Gustav Engval has gone to Kalmar on loan. Now he's a 17-year-old uh, striker. He got some very good stats as well. He's actually, I think he's like a three-star rated striker in our squad already. So he, he would have been competing really. But um, there are a couple of players in the squad better than him. I felt like a season on loan and then bring him back when he turns 18. He'll be fantastic for us in the future. So... You know, he's going to be a great player for us eventually. He can play attack in midfield. He can play on the wings as well. So I thought alone would be good for him. Haitim Alisami. I wanted to actually uh, sell him. He's a left back and his stats, as you can probably tell from the screen, they're just poor. I mean, decision making, determination, they're four, five, they're terrible. He's got a couple of, you know, half decent physical stats there and work rate, but he's not really the sort of player you want to have competing in your first team at this level. So I've put him on the transfer list. I couldn't sell him, unfortunately, but I was able to loan him for a season to Varbergs, so he's gone on loan. Now, this is the one which disappointed me, really. Emil Salomonson uh, wanted to go eventually. Um, they were offering about £400,000. I was able to get £700,000 um, from Ruben Kazan, and he was a decent right-back. He was a three-and-a-half-star uh, rated right-back. Um, so I got as much money as I could for him. But as you can see, he's valued at 1.3 million. So we did miss out a little bit there. Uh, but if I show you briefly uh, my current right back, uh, where is he by? Adam Johansson. As you can see, he's a three star right back, only half a star difference. And he's actually got some pretty decent stats on there as well. Gone up in quite a few of them as well, as you can see. So I think we've got a decent sort of player here in Adam Johansson. So if I go back now to the transfers, and then the last one then is Malik Mane. He's gone on loan to Helsingborg. Now, the reason why I loaned him out was I didn't really see him um, break into the first team. And I'll show you why in a few moments now with the, with the player that we brought in on a free transfer. He's got some decent stats here, but when I compared him to the rest of my squad, he was the fourth best striker. And, you know, being the fourth best striker, a loan offer came in. I thought it'd be best to do that, save a little bit of money. So he's gone on loan to Helsingborg. Now, let's look at the exciting stuff, the transfers that have come in. So three have come in altogether. We'll start off with Christian Wilhelmsen. He, we brought him in on a free transfer. Now, his stats are starting to go down, as you can see. He is 34 years of age, so around about 33, 34. They do start to go down quite rapidly. He's a former Sweden international and a bit of a Sweden legend as well. 79 caps and nine goals for Sweden. But he is, I think he's a three, three star or three and a half star. Uh, he's actually a three and a half star player as a winger. So as a winger, attacking kind of uh, right midfielder, he can play right midfield, left midfield, and he can also play as a striker. He's competent up there. So variety of positions, which is what I like to see. And he's going to basically be my kind of my second choice winger. He'll come off the bench if we get injuries and stuff. He can cover on the wing. He's going to be a good squad player for us, and that's what really attracted me to him. He's got some decent stats as well. Um, you know, we've got sort of fourteen for cross, and even though that's starting to go down. His techniques 15, his penalty is 14 as well, so he's pretty good at that. So great to bring him in. Now, this is probably the best transfer, and you'll see why in a moment. Aristide Banche. So if you click on him here, he's from uh, he's Ivorian, but he's Burkin. Is that Burkina Faso? I think it is. Uh, let me just check du, 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 du. nationality. It's Burkina Faso, yes. So he's Burkina Faso. He's 29 years of age, right? He's a free transfer. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I scouted him, I had him on trial for most of the preseason. then I made a decision to set, to actually buy him. And look at these stats, I mean, he doesn't have the best of pace, but he has 19 jump in reach, he has uh, head in his 17, his strength 18, as a target man, he's going to be an absolute beast in this division. I mean, he does have poor things like flares 8, positions 8, his marking 6, dribblings 9, you know, he does have some poor um, things which let him down, but... For the vast majority, these are really good stats. I mean, I couldn't believe it when he was, you know, a free transfer. So he could be one to watch out for. He's he's three star. He's a three star player in the squad. Um, is he three star? Or is he four? He's actually a three and a half star target man. That that has a target man. I don't think he'd be 
very good at sort of anything else apart from that. He's awkward in other positions as well. But he is going to be a fantastic player for us, I'm sure. He's going to be my main striker up front. And then I actually spent some money on a left back on Joe Dudgeon from Hull City for £325,000. So there he is. I had to bring a left back in because we were we needed somebody to basically improve the squad. We, our best defender, our best left back was actually a two and a half star rated you know left back which isn't good enough at this level he's three star rated left back but he can improve to a four star i think i think that's what they predicted did predicted him had it was a, a two actually two and a half star rated for four star predicted so uh he he's got room to improve he's better than what we have anyway with his stats so he's one to watch out for so they are my main transfers i am looking to get a center midfielder in because we are a little bit weak in centre midfield but they are the transfers I've done so far we do have a little bit of time left before we can buy some more players so now we're going to look at the schedule and you can see we've won all our games basically we had a friendly basically after I recorded that first episode against our under 21s we won 5-1 and you can see uh, Lasse Vibe had a hat-trick Billy Nordstrom our young midfielder looks pretty decent had a goal as well and Soren Reeks had another goal uh, we had a goal that's allowed, I think it was, uh, it doesn't actually say on here, but we had a goal that's allowed in that game as well. And then uh, Patrick Carlson Lagomir scored a consolation goal for the under-21s. Now, second game, FC into Turku, 3-1-1, uh, Nordstrom again with a goal. He's actually got some good um, free kick uh, ability, I think it's like 14 or 15, which is really good in our team, so he's going to be the main free kick and corner taker, I think. Soren Reek scored as well, and Aristi Banche, as you can see, he was on loan at this point, he scored as well. And then in the next game, we won 4-0 against FC Trollhattan. Uh, Salmonson, who we actually sold, scored in that game. Soren Reek scored, Christian Wilhelmsen scored, and Aristide De Banche scored as well. So, again, he's on the score sheet. And then in our final um, pre-season game, our friendly, it's actually against today's opponents, Jon Kopping Sodra. We won 2-1, Soren Reeks and an own goal in the 91st minute. So we won 2-1 away from home. We've actually got them at home in today's match, and we're going to do that now. It's going to be the live com. So let's go to it. Match preview. This is going to be the uh, the cup, the Svenska Kuppen. So let's do the quick pick to begin with, just to sort of see how things uh, look. So we've got Dudgeon at left back. I'm happy to go with that. Eriksson, Nordstrom, Svensson. That's going to be the main three in midfield for me at the moment, unless I bring a midfielder in. Uh, Reeks on the left, Vibe on the right. They're going to be the two main wingers at the moment with Banche up front. Um, we've got Wilhelmsen on the bench, which is good to see. I think our back four pretty much picks itself anyway, so we're going to go with that. Uh, I've, the formation I've picked I, is a 4-1-2-3 uh, defensive midfield wide. Uh, Banche's got the target man role, and everything else is pretty much left the same. Sent midfield, support, automatic defend, so it's all... You know, we've got uh, Vibe as a, an attacking winger and Reeks as a support winger. Um, Instructions-wise, that's what I've gone for. Retain possession, pass into space, whipped crosses, play wider, exploit the flanks, close down more, prevent the short goalkeeper distribution, and higher tempo. So these are the things that we've gone for so far. Uh, our familiarity is competent at the moment. This is the formation I'm going to go with then throughout the season. If I need to tweak it or change it, I will. But that's what I'm confident to go with with a target man. I have to give squad numbers to my three new signings, of course. So, Aristide Banche likes number nine. Can't give him that. I can give him number ten, which I'm going to give him because he's going to be the main striker anyway. Uh, Christian Wilhelmsen, the Swedish legend on the right wing. I'm giving him number seven because that's a nice winger's number. And then Joe Dudgeon is going to be left back. He can have the number three number. So, there we go. They can have those numbers. Bada bing. So, here we go, guys. The first live com of the series. I've got opposition instructions set for my assistant manager. I think that's the best thing to do anyway. I haven't actually changed anything else. Um, I'm going to actually tell them we're the favourites. So let's go. Uh, come on, lads, we're the favourites. Show me what you can do. Uh, you can give me the individual team talks. And we can start the game. So let us begin. I've actually I've got my headset on. So I'm just going to pop my headset on so I can hear the crowd. There we go. Perfect. So I may actually use the 2D match engine in the future. But for now, I think it's best to just use 3D engine and see how things go uh, like that. Just waiting for things, going to look at the highlights, going to check the statistics. I need to get the league tables up as well. That's something I'll do once the league actually starts. It's been a pouring match so far. It's nil-nil. Nothing's actually happened, so we'll check how things are half-time. We have to make one or two changes. Uh, a drab match so far, so it was disappointing. We should let them know that, so I'm going to be assertive this time. 
I'm not happy with your performance out there. And they all seem motivated apart from Aristide Banche, who uh, he looks to switch off, unfortunately, so that's not good. Um, Lasse Vibe, 6.3, needs, needs to play better than that. We've got Svensson, who can come on. Oh, uh, Wilhelmsen, sorry, who can come on in the second half, uh, which I probably will do. I'll probably wait until the 65th minute or something like that. Um, start the second half. I'm actually going to pause it briefly, team talk. Um, I'm actually going to calmly tell them. I'm actually going to encourage them. And then we're going to play. And hopefully we can get... Well, hopefully we can do better now and get a goal. We need something quickly, don't we? We are the better team. We are one of the bigger teams in this uh, country. So, you know, so we should be doing better, really. Uh, one of their players is injured by some things. And just no highlights at all so far. This is really odd. I'm going to actually make that change now. Lasse Vibe, how's he doing? He's still 6.3 rated. That's not good, so... Christian Wilhelmsen can come on for uh, Lasse Vibe. Uh, Gustav Svensson's got a 6.9 rated. Not playing well enough, are we? Soren Reeks isn't playing well either. I think I may bring on uh, Carl Bohm. Confirm those changes and play. See how those two changes do. Hopefully, it can change the game for us. Let's see how it goes. Just waiting for. Oh, here we go. We actually got to highlight Nordstrom to take the free kick. Finds Will Helson. He's gone down. It's a, it's a penalty. So we got a chance. To, we got a chance. And Will Helson, the new boy, is going to take it. But I seem to think Christian Will Helson, the Swedish legend, taking the penalty, giving him the number seven shirt for Gothenburg and Gothenburg. IFK Gothenburg. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Let me know in the, in the comments. Oh, he scored. Will Helson has scored. One nil. Fantastic. We've got the goal that we need. Up the first in the group. Fantastic, yes, you know, no need to do the penalty again. We you know what a penalty looks like, folks. Oh, shit, they got a free kick. This isn't good. Oh, my God, you the crossbar. <gasps> oh, he cleared. Pulling Ericsson, well done, Ericsson. That was good. That was a good for you and say, my boy. Oh, and Aristide Banche's injured. Oh, fucking hell, he's injured. Okay, so... Oh, God, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Um, I've got Mikael Bowman. That's all I've got, really, so... I'll bring him on. And I confirm. Just gonna calmly tell him to go there and make a difference. I do have faith in you, boy. I have faith in you. So ten minutes to go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose my first live com. I don't wanna go it either, I wanna win it, so so it goes. Just, just use this opportunity to give another team talk from the touchline. I'm gonna passionately tell him to concentrate because that's what's in order right now. Defend the lead. Oh I'm actually gonna tell him to look to uh, counter as well. Start countering rather than just go full on attacking, which I've got them set to do. Hopefully that will work. Tinkering with the formation at the moment. Boom. Good long ball. It's a terrible long ball. Ah, oh, shit, they're wide open. Olsen. <gasps> Good save, Alvage. Is it Alva Beige? Alvage? Alvi? <laughs> save his legs anyway. Oh, it's a, it's a good header, Erickson. Watson. Ronnie Clev. Ronnie Clev. Oh, Peterson, that's terrible clearance. Ronnie Clev. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Olsen has scored for them. Okay, this. I think it'll be quite. Quite. Uh, God. I'm going to assert every tell and. Encourage them again. Alright, that's what I can do. Skip. skip, skip. I'm just going to tell him to fly forward and try and score. Bowman. Oh, they're not playing well. They're just not playing well. This is a team we should be beating. This isn't good enough. Come on. I think it's going to be at 94th minute. Yeah, there we go. One all in our first live com of the series. And I'm going to tell them assertively that... You weren't good enough, we should be winning this sort of match. And again, Banshe is the one that switched off and everyone else seemed to take note. So, Group 7 of the Svenska Cooper in the first game, we've actually drawn. Luckily for us, the other two teams in the group, uh, Vaseland and Mialbi, have drawn as well. So, good start really. But, a pity we couldn't win, I wanted to win that first one. And there we have it guys. So... That ends the second episode of the series and the first live com. Now, if we just, just quickly check the schedule, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the next two cup, uh, cup matches in the Svenska Kuppen. 
And then the next live com will be the first league game of the se- season, the Alsvenskan against, uh, oh my God, how do you say that? Atteventerberg, FF, I think it's pronounced. If I can't pronounce these names, by all means, let me know uh, the phonetic kind of uh, sounding in the comment section below. You know, because I, I obviously I don't speak Swedish, so it's going to be quite difficult for me to pronounce quite a few of these these names. But if you can, that would be very, very great. I can hopefully incorporate that into the series later on then. But yeah, the next uh, episode will have this game, the first game of the season, as the live common. Hopefully by then I'll have one or two more sign-ins as well. Anyway, guys, I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Until next time, goodbye.